Welcome here for Punch Out Boxing. I am here with Tyler Denny, uh, head of the press conference announcing your long awaited European title clash. How are you, Tyler? Oh, good, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, absolute pleasure. A friend of our channel. So, you know my friend Carl, both Newcastle fans. Uh, but you're, uh, you must be delighted to be fighting locally, finally. Yeah, 100%. Um, look, everyone, the amount of people messaging, I'm not going to have enough tickets for, uh, for how many people want to come, but. I suppose there's a nice problem to have in it. Absolutely, and well earned. I know, remember we sp spoke uh, over there in Manchester for you. Absolutely old school, come up the hard way. What was it, six unbeaten prospects in a row? And still the board wouldn't uh, <laughs> give you your due. But you got this European title shot. You can jump the queue to the world scene, win this. Yeah, man, good thing it's come to those who wait. Um, it's not like I've not tried to get a shot at the British, I don't think I could have, but it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, but if I'd, have, I'd have snatch your hand off for, for this opportunity, even back then, so, uh, so it's all worked out well, man, and European title shot in Wolverhampton on Sky, it couldn't be any better. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, you know, this guy Signani, um, I know he's well experienced, but maybe at 44, too experienced, could be perfect uh, low-hanging fruit for you. I hope so. Um, yeah, we'll see. I, I, don't, I, I can't go into the fight thinking of his age and I'm going to win because of his age. Do you know what I mean? He's still a European champion and they don't give them out uh, very easily. So um, hopefully go in there, do a job with him and get my European title. Yeah, like you said, you can't take it for granted. He's still a champion for a reason. But um, only been stopped once uh, with the home crowd drawing you on. Opportunity for you to make a statement, get a really dominant win. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, I thought it looked to happen, to be fair, but you know, as long as you get the win, that's the main thing. But of course, with the crowd roaring around and stuff, um, I want to give out there, make a statement and uh, give give everyone the money's worth, man. Uh, make them come back and keep supporting everyone. Do you think that hard route you've had, like I said, with all them unbeaten prospects, in a way, that long term is pro probably holding you in good stead because. You've had to overcome those competitive fights. You haven't had knockovers. Yeah, yeah definitely. And I think it's going to, for this fight in particular, having them fights, um, couldn't ask for any more better experience, could I? So get this one, beat him, and then move on, see whatever's next. Just picking this back up after Tyler's had to complete his photo shoot. <laughs> Do you like that side of the, the sport? Hey, it's something different. I don't mind, man. Um, I should be getting used. I, I don't mind. I'm just relaxed, man. Stu. I, I used to tell my missus a model, and anyway, I just talk shit to her. But so, uh, so she can believe me now. <laughs> well, yeah, you look at that, and you're always in good shape. That's the main thing. But um, yeah, it's always great watching a, a southpaw. Um, love those right hooks. I think your southpaw stance is going to give uh, Signani some problems. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, like I said, I think being a southpaw, I think I, I will cause him problems, but. Yeah, um, without being disrespectful because it's not always some of the best fighters in the world are quite basic but I think he's a basic fighter and um, can be a bit slick and you know do what I'm good at and I think it'll be more than enough At this point in your career do you think you're still improving technically all the time? Oh 100% I'm not um, poor man in, in the corner like he's on to me yesterday we've done I don't know like 10 rounds of pads but it wasn't really High work rate. It was him stopping me every little tiny little swiggle if it's, something's not right. Do you know what I mean? So um, we've always got to improve in everything we do in life. So I'm always learning, always, always looking to prove and trying to get the best version of me. So I know you don't want to look ahead, but get through this. Uh, what would you like to do thereafter? Because we saw when you had the English title, you were made to defend it too many times before moving on. You're going to try and get Sky to push you for a, a world title opportunity? I mean, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? But uh, it's out of my hands. If, if that's... I'm guessing beat, beat Signani, I'll be in the world rankings then. Um, so you're an option then. Do you know what I mean? If someone wants to volunteer, they could look at me and think that would be an easy defence or something. So I've got to stay ready and be it. But like I said, I've got to win the fight first. But if I could do that, that would be... I mean, I've already exceeded my expectations already. So... Um, just keep going, man. Keep winning and see where it goes. How do you assess the middleweight scene? Uh, a lot of critics say it's weaker at the top than it's been for a long time. Uh, do you think a lot of those champions are beatable? Um, 
I suppose so. When you look at like say when Golovkin had the titles and stuff, you know what I mean. Not many, too many people was calling his name out and stuff. And um, I think so, some of those are it's probably not a bigger name. So like, say like Shandy Beck for instance, he's not as he's not like a Canelo name or something, but he's a great fighter. You know what I mean? Um, but the only one way to find out, nah, put me in the mix of them, man, and I, I, I'm ready to step in all times. All right. Well, uh, like you said. Get this out of the way first, uh, then we can get on the Sky's case. I'll call it there because I know uh, you want to shower off. Uh, we'll see you in November. <laughs>